I, this just like makes me think of we get a lot of questions about people about age and they're, they're not understanding that maybe being in your late 20s, early 30s can be an advantage in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, but also, I want to go back real quick for I think most of our audience is trying to join the Air Force and understanding what a staff NCO is and, and kind of understanding where you were in your career during that time. So like the Marine Corps is a little bit different than the Air Force. They actually take NCO yeah. seriously, and especially once you become a staff NCO. <laughs> everybody actually has to call you staff sergeant and not just like, hey, bro, dude, what's up? Uh, so can yeah. you explain like kind of how the Marine Corps works through that process and then also uh, touch on the age thing? Yeah. So um, the NCO thing, when you become a, a an E4 in the Marine Corps, you are a non-commissioned officer. That really, that really is, the, it's like the lowest level, but the Marine Corps looks at you as a, a pretty significant leader. Like you are there. And I don't know the exact percentages, but it's something like 70 something percent of the Marine Corps is E3 and below. Dang. If that gives, if that gives you like a mental, you know, where the pyramid is, it's a, it's a very heavy on the bottom side. Yeah. Right. So Jeez. you become a, you become an E4. Now you're like, okay, I'm a junior, I'm a basically a junior NCO and I'm, I'm leading Marines. And then you become a sergeant and like, that's pr- like sergeants really, I mean, they run the Marine Corps. Right. Like, like you're talking about directly to the men. Like that's, that's who's running the Marine Corps, especially if you look at the Marine Corps as a, as a conventional force. And then when you become a staff and CO, you become a staff sergeant above. That's really when you're, you're, you're not just leading a school, like you're leading platoons to company size of men. Like a staff and CO in the Marine Corps is like dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? 100%. And that's the best yeah. way that I can explain that's it. it. Like that's that, yep. you know, a sergeant or and a corporal is it- maybe like the grumpy, older brother that you have to listen to that will beat your yeah. ass if you don't, you know what I mean? Right. Yep. Um, to help you that kind of give you an idea of, of what that looks like. Um, I think I had been in six years by the time I, six, seven years by the time I get, I got promoted to uh, staff sergeant so that I was, um, so what was I 19? So 25, right. 25 years old, 25, 26, something like that. And, um, yeah, so you got to think guys are coming in at 18 and they have a 25 year old, like you're, and you've got a lot of experience and in my time, a lot of combat experience. Um, so yeah, you're the dude. 